Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It is great to see all your smiling faces. This is One Sober to Another, and I'm Wayne, and I'm an alcoholic. Today's video is about a meltdown that I saw last night on YouTube, and I thought that it would be specifically interesting to some people trying to get sober or those living in recovery because reality kicks you in the ass sometimes, and that's what it looks like. Let's go. All right, let's talk real quick. Everybody who is trying to get sober or, I don't know, who wants to be sober or lives in recovery, you know, we all face life and we face life our own way. But sometimes life has a way of kicking you in the ass to where the choices aren't always easy. And the reality of it is, is that some people will fall back to the drink or drug, whatever your situation is, and some folks won't see a different way out of it. The reality of it can be tragic. I watched a gentleman and I, I'm not even gonna say his name. Some of you might know who he is. He had a full meltdown on YouTube in a relapse. And you know, I gotta say that it was a reality for me to watch because I myself am an alcoholic. I drank very heavy for 23 years. I tried to commit suicide a couple times and if you ever see my story, I mean, you know where I'm going with it. And if you haven't, that card's right above. Look, life is challenging and it is a garden, but sometimes we can't navigate our way around it the way that we really want to. What I witnessed was somebody go through such pain and such agony and such self-destruction that it was almost impossible for me to watch. However, the gratuitous nature of people to flourish in other people's misery showed its ugly face on this this video because not only did the chat start to light up people were throwing money at this guy simply because he was saying through his pity party and you know what i don't mean that with any disrespect because sometimes we can all be in a place where our mind is wrapped around all these things that are happening to us that we don't see anything else except for all the bad things that are happening. He was having this meltdown and everything else. And, you know, he was saying how, you know, people don't donate to the channel, people don't do this, do that. And suddenly, people started to do it. And I don't know why the magnet was drawn to that, but I do know how relapse occurs. And I do know through experience that we might not bounce back. That's what I know. What do you think? Put that in the comments of what you think about a relapse because other folks are going to see this and it's important to know that as bad as a relapse is and the possibility that you might not make it back, it does happen and it happens to the best of us. If you're one day sober, one year sober, one hour sober, it doesn't matter. If the faculties lose their place for just a fraction of a second, you can fall right into a relapse. It's that simple. And for those who don't think so, if you don't think so, put that also in the comments so people can get some. I, I would say that this is the third live relapse that I've seen. And they are so dramatic and so traumatic for the person going through it that if you have the capacity to be empathetic, you feel the pain and you feel the sadness and you feel the, the the emptiness and the void that the person is trying to fill. It's almost impossible to, to, to not want to reach out. But I found myself wanting to comment over and over and over, but I didn't. The one time I did comment, I wrote that, you know, this looks like a straight up pity party to me. And again, no disrespect. And that that person needed to just take a breath, turn the camera off, and figure their shit out. That's easier said than done, because during my last relapse, you know, I, I was in such a, a hole that I felt that no matter how far I reached out, nobody was gonna take my hand. And I just had to dig down and listen to my higher power. And if you don't have a higher power, that's okay, because not everybody does, and not everybody believes in God or, or uh, uh, being outside of themselves and everything else, but, you know, for me, I had to reach down and beg for this to be lifted because if it didn't, I was going through a window. 
and that's what it was for me. You know, I was cursing out the world. I was cursing all the people that never did anything for me. I was cussing at, you know, myself, telling myself what a loser I was. And definitely, if you can relate to that, put that in the comments also. Because I felt like I was so worthless, man. And, you know, you might be out there right now feeling that way. And that's what this video is for. Because you're not alone. And, you know, on this channel, no matter how small, how big, how popular, I don't want any donations. I don't want anybody's you know, approval, what I do want is to help somebody. What I do want is from my experience to be able to resonate to the point where you out there can say, yes, I get it and I understand. And you know, I, I know that I'm not alone and that's what it is for me. And I have these notes because I didn't want to go straight from the point that I'm trying to make. I think I am a little bit, but that's okay. The alcoholic, right? The alcoholic like me. I can't just drink and have a good time and I can't just drink and put it down. And hell, if I start to drink, I'm not stopping until either there's nothing left or I'm in jail. Something like that, I don't know. What do you think? I say so a lot. As an alcoholic, I was in denial, in denial the longest time that I had a problem and that I had a disease that was affecting my livelihood and the quality of my life. And that was a key factor that kept me going anyway, because no matter, no matter how bad things got and no matter what happened to me, as long as I was alive the next day and able to crave that drink again, it didn't matter. It really didn't matter what happened because I lived through it. And for me, that was proof that I'm not that bad. Your situation might be different and you know, I, I immediately, during that time watching that relapse, I wrote my buddy Josh, Josh G. I wrote him and I said, look man, you gotta check this out because, not because of its gratuitous nature, but because of, you know, the impact that seeing this could have to somebody who is actually, A, trying to stop drinking or using, trapped in their own disease or mind, to see it from an angle that someone is spiraling out of control. And that's just exactly what your life might look like. You know, that's what mine looked like anyway. And, you know, I really hope that this guy's okay. And I really hope that he didn't damage himself any further than what was going on in that video. And if you do want to comment about that, you know, keep it respectful because that dude was going through a lot of pain and a lot of self agony that, you know, it's not appropriate for us to, to opinionize it in, you know, my opinion. Yes. <sighs> when I was drinking and caught in my relapses and everything else, I, I had a few. Part of it was, and this was such an immature thought, and some of you might be able to be like, yep, that was me. I was in such an immature thought that I thought that alcohol was the only thing that I had control of in my life and that alcohol was the only thing that I could have for myself. My six pack was for myself, my 12 pack, my 18, my 93 beers over a weekend. All of these things were for me and I deserved them because that's the only thing in my life I can control. Everything else is so far out of control that it's impossible for me to to grab it and put it the way I want it and structure that life, you know, the way that I see it. But that alcohol, that beer, I get that. I, I decide if I drink it. That's what I thought anyway. But in the midst of that relapse, when I was about to kill myself, I quickly knew that that wasn't the case. And, you know, for me having that immature thought that I, this is the only thing I can control, yeah, that's the same shit that keeps me smoking. That's the same thing that keeps me, you know, trapped in thoughts of what if. And, you know, I try to dismiss those and ha have a chat with my higher power and everything else and bring myself back to a reality that makes sense. Through those relapses and, you know, watching this guy go through his grief, I could say, his grief for whatever was going on in his life. 
that destruction is hard to see. That destruction is hard to look at from me, the person going through it, of what's happening. You know, am I killing my family right now? Destroying, am I destroying my family right now? Am I losing my finances? Am I losing my mind? Am I damaging my body more than I need to? And, you know, am I gonna make it back from this relapse? The, that doesn't matter at that point when you're locked inside of it. And that doesn't matter when you are the person just using alcohol as that solution. For me, the, the freaking beer wasn't enough. And the beer, when I figured out that the beer wasn't enough to fix my damn issues, that's when I figured out that I need to fix myself because my coping skills were so lacking that without the alcohol, I, I think that I probably would have killed myself anyway. And that just goes along with a whole bunch of other mental problems that I've experienced throughout my life. And you might also, anxiety, panic, depression, every, all those things that make a person incomplete. I was going through those and those fed into my alcoholism. Those kept me drunk and it might keep you drunk too. I'm a little passionate about this because I think that, you know, to see that lens that I, I viewed in that video yesterday, that was me. And that was me to a soft limit. I took mine, I'm not trying to up anybody, but it, my relapse was so much more insane. And who knows what else happened because I only got to see what he wanted to show us. Who else knows what happened, but my, relapse was so intense and my trip back down to alcohol terror was so infuriating that it just took every bit of me to come back from it and to reground myself and everything else and i hope that he's able to make it back as well i think i rambled enough for this video i just wanted to really put that out there because i care i care about you guys and i care about him and i care about all the people that I've come in contact with in my life. And oh, what struck me, what struck me is that the comments that I was reading, somebody was writing, you don't have any friends and you know, your, your career on the internet is over and blah, 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 blah. I think that is very cruel of some of the comments that I saw and I don't think they were helpful. And I don't think that people should have I don't think they should have been put in so much harsh language into their comments because that's not going to help this person whatsoever. You know, fix yourself, you're broken. At this point, I don't know. I don't know. Tell me what you think about that kind of comment or, you know, you don't have any friends and you don't have any internet friends and your, your YouTube channel sucks and blah, 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 blah. You know, he was just doing or he is doing what I try to do, and that's to pass on our experience, strength, and hope, and our, our, our messages that sobriety and sober living, if you're an alcoholic like me, or an addict, sober living is the best way for me to make my life, and the best way to make the quality of my life is to live present in every single day, and to be a part of my life as it evolves, instead of just a bystander to what's really going on. And that's what the alcohol did for me. It kept me as a bystander to my own freaking life. And, you know, I just wasn't having that anymore. Anyway, life is a garden, folks. Dig it. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, take a chance to subscribe. Hit that like button. And even if you didn't, hit that like button. Keep this video in circulation. Down or up, I don't care. Just whatever you think. I'm here for you guys. If you need any help, there are links below that can help you out. Life's a garden. Dig it, folks. Guess what? All you fine people, I'm going to see you in the next one. Have a good day.